know Kyrie's products don't work for us. <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I did know. With this uh, one of them. what it's like being a mom. So if I'm teaching you guys how I do baby led weaning, then it'll be like. <laughs> think I'm crazy, the way I've been craving. If I put it quite plainly, just give me them babies. Just know what you're doing tonight. Better say doing you Come on, Bubba's. Mommy's almost done. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Two vlogs in one month so far. Let's try to get four. Um, but good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It is what's today? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, and um, basically we're gonna show you our morning routine. This is so. This is so. I love you. Okay, so Tuesdays are basically the same exact every single week. We go to the library for story time. Um, so today I had a little teeny bit more help than I would normally have because um, Daddy left a little bit later just so I can be able to like get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, as you can see, and fill out my hair. But I didn't have enough time to like stop on some makeup because I have hair in my hand. Um, so I'm about to try to do a little bit of makeup, literally just some eyebrows and tinting moisturizer. But I'm sorry. Um, I'm about to try to do that really, really fast. God bless you. I still have enough time, but I still have to give her breakfast and then put her down for a nap, get her back up, and leave out by 9.50ish because the class is at 10, well, the story time is at 10.30, and it takes us about like 20 minutes to get there, and then I still have to get out the car. Basically, I have to get a bunch of stuff done in this little bit of time, so while I'm giving her breakfast, I'm going to be packing her bag and stuff like that too. But I'm rambling, so let's basically just do my makeup. You guys, this is hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. My eyebrows need to be done so bad, but like I have none, so it's like, what really needs to be done, but something needs to be done, you know? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put her down, so I'm gonna go get her toy, and I'll be right back. Okay, so she's right here. She probably starts crying in like literally 0.2 seconds, like she's already crawling to me, so. That didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work at all. Mm. Yes. <laughs> what is the matter? I'm just thinking. Okay, so I'm just thinking that. I probably don't get copyrighted for this little sound on this toy, but I'm like, you don't know because nowadays you literally get copyrighted just for breathing. So at this point, take my chances. So like Miso, what she does, which is, okay, so my cat, if you don't know, I have a cat named Miso. What she does is so fucking annoying is that she antagonizes Soul, but she doesn't want Soul to touch her. So she'll be like, meow, 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 meow. Like basically like leading her on. And now right, Soul's crawling towards her and she's not going to let her touch her. She'll swat at her. So it's like, 
Why even do that? So come here. Okay, so like I said, my brows. I don't want them to look like they're like I'm about to put on like a full face of makeup. I want them to look like my natural brows. So the point is for them to not look too perfect. I'm sorry, y'all can't hear me. But the point of them is to not for them to look too perfect, but just look like clean because that's what I'm going for. Y'all, this is why I don't film. This is why you don't see content from me because like this little thing down here. Gives me a run for my money every single day. Bring it down your neck. Yeah. Bam. That's my base. Now I'm gonna go in. This is what it's like being a mom. Ten out of, zero out of ten. Do not recommend. It's like I'm just playing. So I, was like, I was like, you should be happy that like, you're able to have a kid. It's like, girl, I'm just joking. Just fucking joking. So we'll get over here. And I'm like, love it, leave it alone. That's how that girl, that um, girl on TikTok that be cooking, she be like cutting up the food and she be like, love it, leave it alone. Me, because anybody that I love, they leave me alone. <laughs> a little bit. I don't want to do too much because again, I don't want to look magical. Hairline. Yes. I'm like, well, I want to look natural and I have like a shit ton of bronzer on. I'm going to put on some Kylie blush. I have to put on this side because this is my dominant hand. It's like very subtle or at least for black women. Y'all know Kylie's products don't work for us. <laughs> Kylie, if you see this, hey bro. <laughs> they work for us. I'm just joking. I'm just pulling your chain. I'm just your blush, but I'm gonna see if I have some left on my brush before I dip into here. Okay. Love it. Leave it alone. I love you. I love you. Okay, let's try to do my lashes. I'm going to go off camera and do my lashes, and then I'll be right back. So I just was talking and thought I was recording this whole time, and I wasn't. This is why I don't film no more. <laughs> this is why I don't film no more. Anyway, as you can see, I didn't get time to do my lashes because she had to eat, and the time was, like, ticking down. Like, um. So she's eating eggs right now because I ran out of produce. Like, so all I have for breakfast for her was eggs and like, you okay? And um, a, a side. So I gave her applesauce because we have to go to the market today because I fell asleep last night when I was supposed to order groceries. So whatever. Um, I'm just going to order groceries while we're, when we're on our way back from, wait, where, where are we going? So story time. I'm going to attempt to do my lashes down here while she's eating because she has to go down for a nap right after. Yeah, I posted a vlog like last Sunday. Obviously, if you watching this, you probably already watched that. Thank you. And I, I sometimes get down to myself like if my vlogs don't do like in the thousands, like and all that. And I'm like, I always try to tell myself like, there was a point in time where I wanted the views that I had. Like when I was getting like 10 views and I wanted, and I used to say like, well, at least let me get like 500 views. At least let me get, this amount of views like in a day and I'm doing that and it's like it's not enough anymore like you know what I mean like that's why I feel like a lot of us like when we ask like for God to like like we ask God to like oh please could I just get 500 views like I'm really being like ugh, like you're asking God for views but like you get what I'm saying like you ask for something and then you get it and you don't appreciate it because you're just like oh I want more and it's like live in the moment like imagine being in a room with 500 people staring at you how would that feel like it doesn't seem like it's a lot but it's like bro that's a lot just because it's a number on a screen you're like oh that's not, not a lot of people but it actually is and it just make when you think of it that way it makes you way more grateful because it, you're like I'm growing like yes it's at a slower pace than others but I'm growing I have not committed as much time to 
um, YouTube as like others have. So of course they're gonna grow way more faster than me because they're committing, they're putting in the time, they're putting in the effort. Even when I didn't have a child, like there was always an excuse of why I couldn't film or this and the third. Um, and other people didn't make those excuses. Other people just got stuff done. Um, if you hear somebody smacking that soul, <laughs> she's like, it's good. But yeah, um, I just feel like I have to be more grateful and like put in the actual work, like, because like you want things for, for yourself and you want things for your life. But if you're not putting in the work, you're not going to get the payout. And that's what I need to start doing. I need to start actually putting in the freaking work. And that's what I plan to do. Like, I really love filming. I love doing this. Like, I hope someday that I can turn it into a career so that I can provide for my daughter in a better stance. Like, given I do make money from, like, doing, like, ads and stuff like that outside of YouTube. But, like, I would love if YouTube was, like, my main source of income. And, like, yes, I could still do the ads. But, like, if YouTube could really be, like, my source of income. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, when you do something that you love, um... You benefit way more than just financially and I have been benefiting from this more um, in other ways than financially and so I'm just rambling at this point but I'm just saying I like to say like I appreciate you guys I appreciate the 500 views the thousands of thousand views like sometimes my videos go viral like um, I appreciate that because like you don't have to sit here and watch me for 20 minutes or 30 minutes but you do and you don't have to take the time out of your day to not only like the video, but comment on the video, but you do. And I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I have to charge her some camera. And I have to feed her the apple sauce. Okay, so we're in the car and my camera's about to die for some odd reason. I don't I don't know, but I'll wait to the library. We weren't, we weren't gonna go to the library because I had to make so a doctor's appointment because she has this rash on her stomach but since the doctor's appointment is a little bit later in the afternoon i was just like you know what let me get her out of the house and she's not like she doesn't seem like she's like sick or anything or like irritated by the rash so i'm like let me just get her out of the house so we're on our way to the um library we're actually here we're pulling up now we're late but hopefully we can still get into it so yeah let's go in here Originally leaving the um the what was it the I thought it was the reading class today but I'm assuming it was a music class today because they were playing music so I don't know but um yeah it was fine it was nice to be around on other kid a lot of other kids for like that are like her age and like toddlers like the class is for like zero to two years old um so that was fun I'm gonna go to the other one tomorrow with her I'm sorry if I look a little bit overexposed. My camera is just out of whack right now, so if I look too washed out, it's not because I want to be. Um, but yeah, now we're on our way to the doctor's because um, Sol has a rash, and I don't know if it's an allergic reaction. I don't know if it's a heat rash because she hasn't eaten. This, this home is so beautiful. She hasn't eaten anything new for me to think like oh it's um a food or something like that so i'm assuming it has to be that lotion or a heat rash 
because like I said she hasn't eaten any new foods um, so I don't know but I'm just trying to figure this out last night I was telling um, Gary that I was thinking about taking her to the emergency room but he's like I don't see the rash and us moms we see when something is different with our child like we just know so maybe he just didn't see it but I saw it and then it got even worse this morning and so that's why I called but yeah like I said I keep on saying the same shit over and over again this is why I have to edit for 50 hours um we're on our way to the doctors and then I'll give you guys an update also I'll put the rash on the screen um I took another picture just when we were in the bathroom at the library um so I'll put the rash on the screen and yeah if your child has something like this then when the doctor tells me what it is I'll tell you but I always recommend even though like your child might have something that might look like souls it might be something totally different so I always recommend getting it checked out by your pediatrician but you can just use it as like a guide or whatever so these freaking numbers keep on calling me um yeah I have to go but yeah I'll see you guys later Okay, so we're back home from the hospital. And as you can see, this is her rash right here. Obviously, I can't show down here because that's, I'm not going to show my daughter's areas. Whatever. Um, but this is like some of the rash. It's more on her back. It's some up here in her upper chest. But obviously, her, you know, is up there. So I don't want to show that. But it's also like, you can't really see it. Let me see. She's not going to let me show you because she doesn't like to be touched. But soul does not like for somebody to dictate with the way that her body goes and she flips out if you do it but she's tired but like there it is on her face you see some on her neck it's really bad um or at least that's, i think it is um her doctor said it's like a viral rash or something like that because basically on the inside but showing and outside i don't know how to i don't know how, to, how she explained it whatever but they don't give medication for it. She said I can put hydrocortisone cream on it if it starts to itch. Um, she did say it will get worse before it gets better. But if it gets like really, really bad or I get worried or if she has a fever or if like her breathing or something like that starts to get messed up, then obviously I have to bring her back to the hospital. But right now she just has like a little bit of a cough and she's doing good. I got her some of her favorite food today, which is some grilled chicken from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> she's irritable as hell, so... We're going to end this vlog off, or well, end this clip off right here. Sully is sick, and we're probably just going to relax on the couch and finish watching a movie, and she's going to take a nap. Right? Right? Yeah, right. 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 Give her a kiss. Mwah, 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 mwah. Kisses. Kisses, kisses. All right, you guys. We'll talk to you later. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. Did you feel better? A little bit. Just a little bit. Then my tummy and my neck is just hurting and stuff like that. Yeah, I got a little bit of wear. But I'm getting better, right? You getting better? Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Are you trying to get the phone? Are you trying to get the phone, Grace Girl? Yeah. I love you.
good morning guys i look crazy as hell um and i'm running late do you see the difference of me going i don't well i haven't showed me going to second class that much it is burning up in my car okay so i am running late because i was filming trying to get like some transition shots for this part of the vlog um and yeah now i'm running late i tripped and broke my nail so getting in the car i tripped and broke my nail um so that was annoying and i have a bunch of filming that i need to get done to do for like it's kind of like i think that's what i'm i actually called it because it has a name for it it's like ugc content but my face is in it like like user generated content like but i'm like a so i'm a creator for one of these companies and like certain companies have like actual creators that they have on like um i don't want to say like on payroll but like they have like already like um a relationship with them and they basically just send you like deliverables for stuff outside of youtube so i work with like one or two like I think like yeah right now i'm working with three different companies two that i always work with and then one that i just started working with um and i'm not and for this one that i just started working with my face is not in it so it's more like ugc work like it's strictly like product shots and things like that but it's crazy because they reached out for the ugc content normally like people with you do ugc you have to reach out to them i've never any company that i've ever worked with i've never reached out to them um and I'm a small creator, obviously you guys know that, like micro influencer, whatever it is. Um, so close to um, 40k on YouTube, which I hope I can hit very, very soon. But I'm so close to that. Um, but I've never reached out to companies, and I see a lot of um, people say like, "Oh, if you want to get like sponsorships or things like that, reach out to the companies." I've never done that, and I had a good amount of sponsorships like outside of YouTube and YouTube or whatever. So I feel like don't have to do that but i mean you can if you want to but that's besides the point anyway i broke my freaking nail and i have a bunch of content that i have to film today and i talk with my hands obviously you guys see me right now i'm talking with my hands um can i leave my phone at home so I, I talk with my hands a lot and so that's my problem that's my problem is i talk with my hands and i more than likely my broken nail will probably be in the video so i have to try to fix that so um, I think I'm going to have to try to get a nail appointment today just to get my nails refilled. I was going to wait until Saturday because Mother's Day is Sunday. This is my first actual Mother's Day. Like, I've celebrated, like, Mother's Day for, like, <laughs> as a cat mom. And then last year I was pregnant when I, um, technically celebrated Mother's Day. But this is, like, my first actual, like, Mother's Day of, like, my daughter being, like, outside of my belly. And obviously you guys see me holding the phone, but it's because I don't have a, is that cold over here? I don't have a car mount and I don't want this camera to slide so if it's like blurry or whatever that's why my camera was giving me a lot of shit this morning because it was on manual focus and for some reason me having this camera for 40 years and I still don't know how to turn it off of it being um, manually focused well I did, I did it now but at the time I couldn't figure out how to turn it off from being manually focused and it's literally just one freaking button so it's literally a button it says autofocus manual focus and i still didn't for i couldn't see it whatever um so that was giving me an issue this morning but back to what i was saying about my nails i'm gonna more than likely have to try to get a nail appointment was that a, a bug oh my god i thought i saw, I saw something fucking flying in my car i will have a freaking heart attack because if you don't know i am extremely terrified of bugs like extremely and i keep looking down like girl don't play with me it's crazy to think um i'm just looking at like how when i first started going to cycling around this time it would be like pitch black and it's 5 45 in the morning and the sun is not sun's up but like it's light outside and i'm just whatever <laughs> i'm going all over the place but anyway um obviously you guys see it's the next day her rash got even worse um i think i told you i filmed it on like my vlog i mean my cell phone like a clip of like how her stomach looks something stinks around here how her stomach looks 
and it's gotten worse. Like, are they, are they deers? No, they're fake. Oh my god, I thought they were real deers. Um, it's gotten worse. Um, and her doctor did say it would get worse before it get it gets better. Basically, what she says when she has like a, um, a viral rash and. Yeah, that's what she said. She said they don't do anything to treat it. It just passes by itself, especially because she's a baby. They don't really try to, like, medicate them too much if they don't have to. Um, so, yeah, she has a viral rash, and it's gotten redder. Um, we picked her up. Like, her doctor said give her, do, like, an Aveeno oatmeal bath. So, we picked all that stuff up. But last night, she was just really cranky and tired. And she, I knew she wouldn't have sat in that bath for 15 to 30 minutes. So, we just didn't do it. Um... But we did, the, like, the bombs and all that other stuff. So, she's not feeling... Well, she's, she, the thing about it is, like, she looks like she's feeling okay. But, like, she's, like, rubbing her eyes, like, scratching at her ears and things like that. So, I know she's uncomfortable. So, she has a music class today at um, the library. More than likely, we're not going to go. Even though her doctor says she's not contagious, she, um... She still has a cough, and I just don't want her to cough on, like, one of those, like, shaker things or something like that, and then another kid, like, puts it in their mouth, and then now the other kid is sick. So, to avoid that, I just don't, I'm not going to take her. So, I'm on my way to my cycling class right now, and I am extremely excited because, oh, God, I'm extremely excited because I'm actually starting to take my, um my class serious again like my my workout lifestyle serious because i have not been being serious about it at the free call i've just been doing my own thing y'all i'm sorry for these blurry clips that y'all gonna have but i've just been like not really taking it serious too much i have not been taking my class like i've just been not been taking my health serious i've been eating a lot of like crappy foods and just not caring like I, I barely go for walks or runs like um and if I go for a walk it's like 10 minutes nothing too exciting or I'll just like sit on the desk with someone to make her make sure she gets fresh air but I haven't been really taking my house serious and I just come to the conclusion that I really need to take my house serious but um oh also when I was just leaving out I don't know if you saw I don't think I showed it but, um, Soul's godmom had texted me the other day and told me that she was sending her birthday gift, like, <laughs> three months early. Um, but she said she got a good deal on it, so she wanted to send it early. Um, so, when I came outside and I was, like, filming that transition shot, I saw a package on my step and it says Soul Sarai. And I'm like, no, it didn't, no, I didn't check to see what it said first. I just thought it was that when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, this must be delivered wrong. This is the wrong address because I know I didn't order that because I forgot that she said she was sending something. And then I walk up to it and it says so sorry. And I'm like, oh, her auntie, her godmom sent her this. Like, so yeah. Thank you for that. But yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. This clip is literally 11 minutes long and I'm probably going to use two minutes out of it. So not smart at all but i'll see you guys when i'm leaving cycling because i'm not going to film any more transitional shots because i don't need to but okay so i am leaving cycling and i'm freaking dying Is fogged up. Um, I am literally fucking dying. Oh my god, I don't even feel like I can fucking drive. Oh my god, I need air. I need air. Let me gather myself, you guys, because I literally feel like I'm dying. I literally feel like this is probably the hardest class that I've ever been to and I in the beginning I would have said like oh this is the hardest class I've ever been to bitch this was hard this was really hard this was like extremely hard like <sighs> I'm just like I felt like so out of it 
I had no pre-workout so I literally went to this class like and went balls to the wall because I had no pre-workout with me and I didn't notice I didn't have my Celsius until I got here and I'm like I was already like five minutes before the class starts so it was like it was pointless at that point to like try to go to Wawa's and get one but you guys I am feeling it Towards the end of the class, I honestly felt like I started to just give up. And that's when the trainer came over to me. He's like, lock in, lock in. He was like, I was coming for you. I was coming for you. And I'm like, Mr. Richard, please leave me alone. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not feeling it today. And like, he's that way. Like, he wasn't being mean or anything. Not like singling me out. Like, he's just that way with everybody. Like, he wants to push you to your fullest extent. Is that a car turning? Yeah, he wants to push you. And I like that because that's what you pay him for. Like, you pay him to push you. Not to just let you, like, um, fall short. And come on, squirrel. Move. Move. Bitch. Damn squirrel was just sitting in the middle of the street. I don't want to hit him. I feel like I use all my energy. I'm kind of happy that Soul's not going to this um, music class today because I don't feel like going. All I want to do is lay in bed with my baby after my shower and cuddle. That's what I want to do. This is a realistic um, morning routine with help. I'm tired and I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. Uh, I'm not happy that my baby is sick, but I'm happy that she is not going to this this class because, like I said, I'm tired. New routine. So I'll see you guys in the vlogs. Bye. Jeez. Okay, y'all, I'm back because I was just sitting here thinking about something, and I'm like. <laughs> I, no, not something about people that I used to date. Like I really gave, like I had the audacity, the mother audacity to <laughs> to date some of these people. Like when I look back, I'm like, girl, you really gave him a chance. Like you should have knew he was a bum when he told you your car was decent. He like, oh my god, your car is so nice. I was driving a Mazda. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. And like given, no shade on Mazda, loved Mazda, we still have it. Like, it's still one of the cars that we have, so it's like, I don't care. And that'll probably be like our next family car, like we'll get like the Mazda SUV. But yeah, y'all, like he told me my car was decent. Like, be <laughs> that's what I knew. That's what I should've knew. He was a bum. <laughs> like, the shit that I think of, but like really like and like I said no shade the car is fire for me to say because I'm a girl <laughs> like, or if I was a car salesman of course I'm gonna say that shit fire it's a car that I want to sell but you being a grown man you should strive for more <laughs> I should have knew <laughs> a girl I did know with this uh, one of them but Like one of them, like one of them was a bum. Girl, like I've dated multiple bums. <laughs> but that that other one, I should I knew and I still I was like, oh he a bum, I can fix it. You know, it's okay. Girl, he 40 something years old. Live with his parents. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Cause like bitch, don't let him in. But I didn't know at first. <laughs> look, like, look, I'm trying to justify it. At first, I didn't know. Girl, <laughs> I am hilarious. Let me go. Let me go. Cause I'm like halfway home. Okay, so guys, as you can see, it is way later on in the day. And like I said, today would normally be like a day where I had help, but because Soul has been sick, she's only been wanting me. So we've been taking like two hour contact naps and I have not been able to do anything else. So today would have been a day where I probably ran some errands, went to the market, probably got my nails done. Um, obviously I need them done because they broke, but she's sick. Um, hence why her hair looks so crazy. Um, she's sick and she's not feeling well. Um, she's champing it out. 
like she's doing really well um it's just she you can tell her voice is very hoarse and she's just uncomfortable and she only wants her mom so it's making it hard for me to get my work that i need to get done because whether we like to admit it or not even small content creators when we're creating content that's a, that's work like it's not a hobby i'm getting paid to deliver content so it's work you know what i mean like even though it's not a full-time gig it still is work so if this vlog is not eventful that's why i was trying to do like my morning routine it's like a mom with no help and my routine with help but like today was kind of the same as yesterday because all she wants is me so talk to you guys later or like i said if it, the video ends right here see you guys in the next vlog Good morning. So, so she ripped the floor out, <laughs> and now she's ignoring me. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another boring day in my life. I hate my makeup. I <laughs> just hate my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm not having a good day, and the day hasn't even started yet. It's literally. Oh god, this damn hair's in my mouth. You guys, I am not having a good day and the day hasn't even started yet. It is like what time is it? Eight o'clock in the morning. I've been up since like five thirty. I got up, slapped on some makeup, and went downstairs and filmed. I hate it. I hate it. I had to refilm something and I should have and the crazy part about it was I deleted the other footage because I had confidence that this footage would turn out better than the other footage and it turned out worse so just not having a good day I just, like and i'm trying to joke but i just want to cry <laughs> i just want to cry because i'm so overwhelmed like i'm so overwhelmed i'm trying to get back into the swing of things I'm trying to get back into like filming sponsored content and why am i about to cry <laughs> i'm just so upset I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things and I just feel like it's just not working. It's just like it's so hard. Like it's just so hard. Like I never knew. Like I knew life was hard. But add a child on top of that. Bitch. I just, I don't know. Like I just don't feel confident. Um, I don't feel... Yeah, I just don't feel confident. I don't feel motivated. And any little motivation I get is snatched away because the moment I get any type of like uh, like fire under my ass, my baby needs something. <laughs> and I'm not complaining because like I'm happy to take care of my daughter, but it's still just like, it's hard. It's hard. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling it today. Um... I'm just, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to try to salvage these clips because I'm, I can't film it again. Um, so, what I'm about to do today is I'm probably going to go upstairs, take this, to take moisturizer off and stuff like that. Take this dress off, this hideous dress that makes me look like I'm like 10 months pregnant. And probably edit yeah and she's escaping her excuse me so she just ignores me which is so funny to me bubba's excuse me so like she literally acts like she can't hear me So, why are you ignoring me? You're too busy trying to escape. You guys remember when she was like so little? I was going through some clips on my camera and I felt like this a long behind clip of me talking trying to be inspirational and when i was freaking depressed at that time i'm still fucking depressed <laughs> um 
And she, I was just looking at her. She was so freaking little. Where are you going? No, no, no. Toys stay in here. If you want to play with toys, you got to go back in there. And she does not care what I'm saying. You guys, let me go. You tinking. Ouch. <laughs> This child. Whoa! Uh oh! Uh oh! This girl is so crazy. Here. Here. Ow! Ouch, that hurts. I love you. I love you so much. You and the tank butt. I just love the tanky booty. I love the tanky booty. Oh, there's my other baby. There's my other baby. Look at my children. My children. I have all these kids. I pushed out all these kids. I'm a single mother. <laughs> you gotta change because mama has some work to do. Okay, you don't gotta get upset. Yeah. Say see you later. Say hi. Hi, my name is Soul. And I like to thank you all the time. I like to thank you all the time. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. As you can see, my dark sugars are pushing through. I was up to like 4 o'clock in the morning editing a video that I don't really like the footage. Like, I like it, but I don't like it, but I like it. Don't do that, Miso. Like, I like it, but I don't like it, but I like it. I feel like I don't like it because I don't like the way that my face looks. Like, my face is just so chunky. And I haven't done, like, a review try-on haul in so freaking long. And I was looking at, like, my old ones. And I, I was, like, so good with them, I felt like. Like, I was just flowing with, like, knowing what to say and knowing how to just, like, move and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm, like, 20 pounds heavier still 20 pounds still 20 pounds um that i want to lose to get back to my weight that i was even before i was pre pre-pregnancy because pre-pregnancy i gained 10 pounds and then obviously i gained the pregnancy weight after that 10 pounds that i gained so i want to lose the 20 pounds so i can get back to the weight that i was when my face was just more together my mental health was just flourishing a little bit better like you know i still was going through shit but you know just I felt better but I'm just trying to get more into like vlogging I really like vlogging and I want to be able to like feather in like other like content videos like doing things that I like like try on hauls or baby lead weaning videos or showing you guys how I baby lead weaning or show you guys how I meal prep and blah 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 so those are the things that I want to do I'm just trying to get the time to do them and now since she's able obviously you guys see to get around more by herself it makes it more easier on me um but it's still a process you guys can see my bed looks in shambles right now my nail i got them done yesterday and this one hurts so bad so i have to probably go back to the nail salon to go okay so i probably have to go back to the nail salon to get them get this one redone because it just like hurts so bad but more than likely it'll be vlogs every sunday um, and then, like, a constant video every, like, Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know, like, the scope of it yet, but I do. I kind of, I don't know what I want to post. I know I want to post, like, con like videos for you guys, but I just don't know what to post yet. So, if you guys have some ideas, let me know. But I want to start doing all my videos. Like, if, I, if it's not, like, a sit-down try-on haul, like, review. I want to start doing them like vlog style. So like if I'm teaching you guys how I do. <laughs> so if I'm teaching you guys how I do baby lead weaning. Then it'll be like. <laughs> so if I'm teaching you guys how to do baby lead weaning. Then it'll be like baby lead weaning. <laughs> I can't take myself serious as this child. Oh my god. So if I'm. Okay. Shh. So if I'm doing baby lead weaning videos, <laughs> stop! <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> Getting my damn nerves. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
Okay. If I'm doing baby led winning videos. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> She's so annoying. Like, you know what you're doing. And that's the funny part about it. It's like, she knows what she's doing. I feel like... <laughs> Stop! I feel like she's picking up Gary's personality because he knows how to annoy me. And I feel like she's doing that. Like, she knows how to annoy me. Um... <laughs> Stop. Okay, so if I'm doing baby light weaning videos, I'll do a vlog style. If I'm doing meal prepping videos, I'll do a vlog style. So I'll show you guys us waking up, all this stuff, whatever, and then I'll show you guys like what we eat in a day, all that bull crap or whatever. So that's what we'll be doing. Some type of vlog style videos. So yeah. She pulled my hair down. So we're gonna go and change Stinky's diaper. She's trying to reveal my boobs. You trying to get me a man? <laughs> She's like, let me show these titties. I get her me. <laughs> okay wait before we go i'm gonna she knows <laughs> before we go she knows how to sing so like what okay wait let me see if she'll do it hello from the other side <laughs> all right you guys we're gonna go I don't know if this is going to be the end of the vlog because we do have some other stuff to do today. <laughs> and it's only Friday, so I want to, like, finish vlogging for the rest of the week. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get the hang of vlogging eventually because I feel like I haven't done that vlogs in a while. So I'll get the hang of them. But this is our life. Um, yeah. So, and I'm going to be able to learn how to vlog well, not learn how to vlog because that sounds stupid. But I'm going to be able to... Okay, my love. Please stop it. Please stop it. Stop it, okay? My goodness. I'm just saying, um, I'm going to get better with vlogging and like vlogging in public. And I'm just rambling. Let me go change Stinky's butt. I love her. I feel like she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I got it from a to I got her from a toxic experience, but she's the best thing that ever happened to me. She's so perfect. She's so perfect. Oh, so perfect. Oh. Look at her laying on me. Okay. Ow! Stinky's tired. Okay, let me go. This is her mad face. What are you mad about? What are you mad about? What are you mad about? No, 